My wife and I just got back from a long weekend up in the Eastern Sierra went to one of our favorite places uh, up in the Bishop Canyon area where we uh, went in for a hike to Long Lake. It's about three and a half miles to the far end of the lake and beautiful this time of year. Uh, lots of wildflowers and great fishing. We caught uh, limits of brook trout and some rainbows using night crawlers and now we're going to head back to camp and cook these babies up for dinner. Here's how we cook these backcountry trout. Just drop them in a bag of uh, shake and bake chicken mix. Drop the trout in that baby. Shake it up a little bit and then we throw it in a hot pan and fry these mothers up. And notice we left the heads on and the tails on. Much easier to eat that way. And we're just using a little $10 home power stove as recommended by my friend Scott Layseth who uh, has a TV show on cooking outdoors. We got about a $3 pan, $10 stove, and it's pretty simple. Just uh, like this baby. And then we're just going to heat up some olive oil. And when it gets hot, we'll throw the trout in and see what happens. Okay, we, the pan's already hot. We just spray some uh, canola oil in there and drop these babies in. It's about, it seems like it's only about three or so minutes on each side for these trout. And the trick is you wait till the eyeball gets white. That's your tip that they're done. So it seems a little bit gross, but it is much easier if you leave the heads on and the tails and all the fins because they just come off real easy, as you'll see when we're actually uh, getting ready to eat them. So put that over there, cover it with foil to keep it uh, moist. Wrap that baby, and five minutes and we'll be ready. Well, it's only been about two minutes, and uh, with that spray, these things aren't sticking to the pan at all. Keeping them nice and just kind of shaking them around and moving the pan so it doesn't get burned in the middle. And again, that foil on the top there to keep everything nice and moist. And it's got to wait a little bit more. Well, it's time to turn these babies over. So, just got a spatula. They're still not sticking. I just typically start with the outside one. And give it one of those. One of these. Mm -mm. Yeah, two more minutes and we're ready. Let's cover these babies back up again. There we go. A little more olive oil. Hey, get, 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 get. olive oil. Okay, we can tell they're done because we can see the whites of their eyes, so that's perfect. It's a good way to tell. And now here's how my dad showed me to actually eat these things, which is kind of a, a little finesse move. You just basically start off just and now that they're cooked, the dorsal fin comes off really easy. These uh, side fins just pull right out. There's the aptly named anal fin which comes off there and there's another fin on this side and there's a fin there in the front along with part of a gill plate and that's pretty much all that's going to be a problem and then the, the cool thing and the easy way to get all this meat off here is just lift the tail up stick a fork in just right under the back part of the tail and just apply some light pressure keep pushing the fork forward and slowly lifting the tail up and if it's cooked properly all those bones if you can see them there all the bones are just coming right off with the tail as I lift it up so we get this nice clean section here with just meat only on the plate just turn it over looks like the flies are uh, wanting to join us here these are bacteria free high sierra eastern flies which are not a problem at all and there we go we got the perfect uh, little fish skeleton just like from the cartoons and there we go perfect take a big one 
Brook trap, baby. Brook trap, baby. Didn't say anything. You just did. The end. <laughs>